When a company goes through a merger, the first priority is not to disrupt the relationship it has with its customers, because that's where all the money is going to be, and we don't want to risk that. All sorts of other things start to take place in terms of HR integration, workflow, systems, accounting, and so forth, and these are very, very important. Often what happens, however, is that when it comes to issues of culture and integrating values and redefining what the organization is going to stand for in the future, these sometimes take a back burner approach. My suggestion is that those types of change management activities involving culture integration should take place up front alongside all the other systems and process integration because when you have the people who are going to be involved in the systems side of integration discuss and define what the future culture is, it embeds it like glue into those systems. Often what I find happen is that after the systems have been integrated year two, three, four years down, we start talking about culture and aligned values. We've already begun to set up such strong silos and separations from groups and people. We do it this way, you do it that way those sort of subterranean cultural issues are a little harder to resolve after the merger. So again, my recommendation is culture integration should happen at the time of system integration after a merger and acquisition.